Good morning, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny. Guys, I need to make a addendum to uh, yesterday's video, a little add-on, because one of you guys in the comment section, Esteron, brought up a really, really good point. Yesterday's video, which I'll annotate on screen, is how to get higher light gear from faction packages right when Rise of Iron comes out. The premise is known not to burn through the DLC content. It's to get you ready for the raid on that Friday. Okay, for me, I'm going to pick one character. Well, I'll probably do Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'll do the story on each character per day stream it live but I, one character i want to work on the most see how high up i can get in light so i can maybe stand a chance in the raid so yesterday we went over all the numbers okay so motes of light will give you 100 rep special and heavy you're going to give you 25 planetary materials and armor materials and weapon parts will give you 50 but what Esteron pointed out, and I hope I'm saying your name right, sir, in the comments, if you have an exotic class item for that faction, put that on. It's going to give you just a little bit of bump. So uh, instead of 100, we're going to get 110 now. Thank you. I had no idea. Thank you for pointing this out. And let's say let's go to uh, Planetary Materials. What do we get? We get 55 from it. So it's a little bump, but hey, listen, everything counts. Another thing also uh, is... Um, See, I just uh, burned through a bunch of marks that bought a bunch of relic iron, okay? Planetary materials, okay? Armor materials and weapon parts give you more rep than these special and heavies. So as I'm progressing, I'm getting marks every day because I'm doing my daily story. I keep maxing out on legendary marks. Uh, in between buying some legendary engrams and uh, putting them in my vault if it's not something good to break down for marks, because when Rise of Iron comes out, you know, everything's going to refresh. You're going to want marks to buy things and also have legendaries in your vault to break down so that you can get more marks. So you go into Rise of Iron, you see a weapon you like, you buy it. Then if you need more marks, go into your vault, take a bunch of legendaries, uh, dismantle them for three legendary marks each, or if you pump a few motes of light into them, you will get uh, five legendary marks. But yeah, I use some of my marks, and I'm going to be using some of my marks to buy um, planetary materials. So yeah, so if we go with special heavies, uh, you get 27. All right, not bad. And also, in yesterday's video, I did comment on heavy ammo synths because of the fact that I use a uh, ghost shell that gives me extra glimmer when killing Taken. I'm always maxed out in glimmer. So what I do is I just run by Banshee every day, buy maybe three or four heavies from him. Also, Eris Morn, you can give her five Black Wax Idols. I burn through pretty much all of mine. I don't think we're going to need Black Wax Idols at all. So in with Ether Seeds. Uh, Varix does a one-for-one -one trade on Ether Seeds and a little bit of glimmer. I think it's one Ether Seed and uh, 250 glimmer for uh, one, one heavy, no, I think he does, no, he sells both, I'm sorry, end of the video, you know what that means, battle mode, for one special or heavy, so yeah, you get a little bit of rep here, so yeah, just make sure you always put on your exotic, so for me, dead orbit, it's a non-issue, I don't have the dead orbit exotic class item, but on all characters, I do have the uh, new monarchy and the future war cult, uh, yeah, all three characters, so I'm gonna be set, so I gotta make sure to remember, uh, when the Rise of Iron launches, burn through the story, and I wanna get ready for the raid, I am definitely going to be pumping a lot of materials into my, whatever faction I want to get weapons from, or even armor for that matter. Remember, Christopher Barrett came out with a tweet, said, wouldn't it be cool to choose what you want from a package? Do you want armor, do you want weapons, and so forth. I'm gonna put that tweet on screen right now. But for the most part, just stockpiling uh, modes of light. Uh, you can see I've got just a plethora, I'm sorry, I like saying it that way, Plethora of armor materials, weapon parts, uh, my vault is just stock with uh, planetary materials, and that's it. So, guys, sorry about that. I had no idea. Thank you for letting me know, Esteron, and I hope I'm saying your name right. Drop a like in this video only if... Oh, seriously, that's right. Drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter, at Mason. Check my stream, usually on YouTube, and that's it. I'm out of here, like Vladimir. And no, I don't really like to buy heavy ammo synths from Zer, because uh, one strange coin for three of them, I don't know. I'd rather just use all the glimmer I get from killing the Taken... Yeah, I, guys, I'm, uh, you know what, I, hopefully everyone has some sort of ghost shell. If you can get it from the, the uh, Challenge of Elders, uh, the raid ghost shells, I, I think pretty much all of them give you additional glimmer when killing Taken. And if you want to farm for glimmer, go do the Blighted Coven story mission on Earth. Uh, whenever I have to do the Kill 10 uh, Taken Major Ultras, that's where I go. So that's it, guys. Love you all. Matt here.